Jeff here with Digital Trends, and we're looking at the new Sony Xperia Z at CES 2013. This was just announced, uh, been rumored for a while, has a full 5-inch screen, 1080p display, kind of like the Droid DNA, uh, very bright, very crisp uh, screen, and uh, it's 7.9 millimeters thin, so this is uh, kind of the, one of the new age of 5-inch uh, 1080p phones. Uh, very thin, extremely light, too. It's a little plasticky. They say that the back is glass, kind of like uh, the Nexus 4 has a little bit of a shimmer to it, a little sparkle. It comes in a few colors, uh, purple, white, um, I think black as well. Uh, this runs on a Snapdragon S4. Uh, pretty typical specs, you know, gig of RAM, all that. Um, it comes with your typical suite of Sony apps. 13 megapixel camera, which I can actually show you. The camera looks really nice with the screen. You probably won't notice it on this video, but uh, get into your options and everything. It's a custom camera app, but pretty good. This runs on Sony's, they're calling it the Bravia Engine 2. Uh, basically it's a modified version of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, or uh, possibly 4.2. I believe it's 4.1. And it's a lot like other versions of uh, Sony's uh, Xperia phones. You can go to the multitasking here. It's a little modified. You can, you know, swipe away. Or maybe you can't. Yeah, swipe away what you want. You can go to old apps. Typical uh, Android function there. Has on-screen navigation buttons. No hardware buttons here. Odd placement for the power button here on the side. Uh, volumes below that. Also a little weird. If you want to get to your headphone jack, it's actually under this protective little cover here. So you have to kind of pull it up. It's a little hard to do on the video here with one hand. But uh, there's your headphone jack. A little odd, especially for people who like music. You're going to find that. No spot that I see. Oh, it does have a micro SD slot on the side there. And uh, you can do uh, tapping. It's got NFC functionality built into it. Go back to the home screen here. But, uh, you know, pretty typical offering. Uh, other than that, Sony makes pretty good handsets. We don't know anything about availability, price, uh, or anything like that right now. But it's looking like a good phone, uh, like a lot of Sony phones do. Hopefully, we'll be able to buy it, and hopefully on a carrier other than AT&T. This is the Sony Xperia Z.